Let's go, guys. The Inferno Dragon. That NATO was so awesome. Hey, what's up, guys? It's JKK Tag, and today we're coming at you with a Graveyard Freeze deck. This is the ultimate control Graveyard Freeze deck. It's got Inferno Dragon. It's got Ice Wizard. It's got Tombstone and NATO and Freeze. How can anyone ever break through this? You're gonna have Zap Bait with Inferno Dragon and the Bats. You're gonna have massive tank killers with the Inferno Dragon, Tombstone, Ice Wizard, and Tornado combination. And obviously when you're playing this deck because it doesn't have direct damage, you really have to get all of your damage in one or two pushes. So you wanna facilitate pushes that are meaningful. When you're playing Graveyard, you always wanna defend first and then counter push when your opponent is at low amounts of Elixir and they do not have counters in cycle. Freeze is overpowered on ladder, it scales so much better on ladder and I would never use it in tournament standard. Let me know how it ends up working for you and I hope you guys enjoy the video. All right guys, we got a game against Hawks TM from Limit Esports. We're gonna be saucing out of good luck to Hawks and we're gonna see what he wants to do. I can just go and cycle bats in the back and then I'll get to a tombstone. He's gonna go cycle Goblin Gang. So this is telling me that he's probably gonna have a bait deck. He could have three Musketeers. The possibilities are kind of endless with this deck. So he hasn't really dropped too much yet. He's gonna be dropping a Collector. So this is telling me that he's most likely gonna have a three Musketeer deck. I'm gonna go in for a Graveyard. I'm gonna get ready with the NATO in case he drops a Minion Horde. He's gonna have a Giant. Is he gonna drop something on top of the Ice Wizard? Yes, he is. So that was pretty well played by him. I'm not able to punish him because I don't have Poison. So this is definitely one of the harder possible matchups with this deck. Hopefully we can pull out a victory here. So the bats will end up dying. I'm gonna wait for his three musketeers or his minion horde or whatever he wants to do. So he's gonna go in for a minion horde. That's why I didn't drop anything there. I was just waiting. I'm like, all right, this dude is not just gonna let his Santa Claus be suicidal. So I'm gonna go for bats as well. And the bats should be able to clean up. If they don't, then I go in for an ice wizard, but they do end up cleaning up house. So we've identified that he drops a collector very far back. So now I can go in for a graveyard and punish it. I can get ready, even if he drops Goblin Gang, that Collector is forfeit. So that was really good for us. Even if he drops Bats, the Collector is forfeit. So I'm not gonna try to like substantiate my push and go for a Graveyard Freeze. I'd rather defend against, well, the Valkyrie just demolishes his tower. He's not like really even doing anything to that. So, huh, dropping a Giant in the back. We've identified that he's probably gonna be dropping Minion Horde or three Musketeers here. He has the predilection to drop either or. I'm gonna end up dropping a Inferno Dragon, and I'm definitely going to go in for a Freeze on top of that. I'm just going to wait. I really just want to wait a little bit. I'm going to wait two more seconds, then go for a Freeze. I'm going to go in for Bats, and then I want to go for a Valkyrie. He stupidly goes in for a Zap. We're going to eat an entire Musketeer shot, but because this is a difficult matchup for us, we can't really afford to just going all out and then defending at the same time. It doesn't work like that. You have to pick one or the other. You can't have the cake and eat it too, man. So I'm going to end up going in for an Ice Wizard in the back. I'm going to get ready. I know that he's probably going to have bats in cycle relatively soon. He ends up going in for another one of those collectors. This guy is really absurd. I'm going to go in for a graveyard. I'm going to get ready. I know he's going to go for bats. So I kind of want to go in for a NATO if he goes in for Goblin Gang. He's going to go for three muskies. I want to go for a freeze here. And I think the graveyard just takes the tower. Sure, you can end up going in for the Goblin Gang, but it doesn't matter. Also, that one musketeer is inconsequential, so we're not going to respond to it. We're going to conserve our elixir here. I'm going to get ready with another Ice Wizard. It's all about conserving Elixir against this deck because he does not have direct damage, right? So it's very important. Did I just drop a Tombstone in the back? Yep, guys. Conserve Elixir. Drop Tombstones in the back. I guess you can do that when you're so far ahead, guys. You know what we're going to casually do? We're going to play it off as BM and drop a Graveyard in the back. So then he thinks that we meant to BM him. But guys, we totally did not mean to BM him. <laughs> GG. Well played and peace out, Girl Scout. Much love to you. Guys, did we get away with that? Did we get away with that? Did we uh, make it seem like it was a BM Tombstone or nah? So we're gonna go for a Tombstone as our starting play against Trainer Javi. And he's gonna go in for a Dark Prince. All right, man, so you're wild. You're a little bit frisky with that Dark Prince. Are you gonna be dropping a Santa Claus in front of it or are you just gonna let it die? What are you about? He's gonna go for a Fireball. We're trying to separate everything so he's not gonna get Fireball value. We're totally about it. Also seeing Fireball, he's not gonna have a great answer to Graveyard, especially Graveyard Freeze. Oh, the memes, man. He is not ready. His body is not ready. I'm telling you right now. We're going to go in for the freeze. I think the Valkyrie is just going to do an incredible amount of damage on the tower. Obviously, the counter push potential that he has is going to be a little bit worrisome for us. But we got a lot of damage on him. I can ignore the Mega Minion. It doesn't matter to me. It's inconsequential. So, unfortunately for us, this is not inconsequential. I actually have to go in for an Ice Wizard here. I got to make sure that the Dark Prince ends up dying, which it doesn't really want to die, but we separated everything. We made sure that the Dark Prince targeted on top of the uh, Inferno Dragon. 
or no, the Dark Prince. Of Earth. The Wizard targeted on top of the Inferno Dragon, so then we could drop Ice Wizard and not really be screwed around with. And then I also dropped it off to the side, so then if he NATO'd, because quite often when they have Harry Potter, they do have NATO. You don't really want to mess around with that. I'm going to go for a Tombstone, and then I also want to go in for Bats off to the side, so if he goes in for a Zap, he doesn't hit that one Skeleton. So I'm thinking about that. I have the forethought to understand, you know, that one little Larry. Larry lives matter, man. You don't mess around with them. Goes in for a log. Obviously, he's not really going to be able to do too much here. I can actually just go in for a graveyard and then freeze. I think that the graveyard will stop the prince from charging if one of the skeleton spawns. So that's what I was kind of banking on. I can go in for a freeze if I really want to. I'm just waiting for him to drop more cards so then my freeze gives more value. And then we just end up taking his tower. So that was very easy for us. Graveyard freeze is busted if you guys did not know already. Freeze is one of the best cards in the game on ladder. If you max that out... Whatever they have, if they don't have poison, then they're kind of screwed. Like, it should be an automatic win if they do not have poison. At the highest level, that is. So he's going to go in for a giant in the back. I'm going to just go in for an ice wizard. I'm going to wait and see exactly what he wants to do here. Actually, three musketeers is kind of OP. If they don't have uh, poison, they could be running three musketeers, and that could be a very difficult matchup. But other than that, usually you just drop in front of a dragon, you go in for a freeze, and then you kind of laugh at them because there's nothing you can do to defend this, right? Just watch the Inferno Dragon melt everything. His hopes, his dreams, all of his aspirations in life are just going to be vanquished in an instant. I can end up going in for a Valkyrie just to make sure the princess don't get a charge off on us. While the Ice Wizard, the Game of Thrones character, just, you know, it says goodbye. It says go to tennis, man. I'm going to go in for a NATO just to make sure that we can kill the, uh, kill the Harry Potter. I can go back for another Inferno Dragon and then settle with another Tombstone. And there's absolutely no way that he gets through those guys. I think this guy's a pretty good player. I recognize his name. I think he's a pro. I don't remember for sure, but... Yeah, GG, well played, and peace out, Girl Scout. All right, guys, we got a game against Ryan. We're going to be saucing out a good luck to Ryan, and we're going to see what he has in store for us. Ryan with Genesis. It's the new Genesis, man. What's up? We're going to be dropping Tombstone right in the middle. He's going to go for a Furnace, so unfortunately, we're going to have to invest in Elixir for the Ice Wizard. So the Ice Wizard is going to slow everything down. His Furnace will not connect with our Ice Wizard. And I think that we're going to... Oh, wow. All right, so he's going to have Dark Goblin. So he's going to have some type of bait deck. He's going to have some log bait elements for sure. Even though he's going to have a giant, he's going to have log bait elements. He's going to go in for a log as well. I can go in for a NATO. I want to see if we can catapult to the Santa Claus to our King Tower. If that's a possibility, I would love to see that happen. Activate King Tower nice and early, early on. I'm going to end up going for an Inferno Dragon. Make sure that the Fire Spirits don't reach our tower. I know it's probably not the best thing to do, but I just don't want to soak up any damage while activating the King Tower. This is really good for us. Usually with Graveyard... I don't really want to spend too much elixir early on, making a huge elixir investment and finding out, hey, this dude actually has like minions or minion horde, and we don't have arrows, we don't have zap, we don't have any great way of like dealing with that. So for me, I just don't want to make a huge elixir investment and just have it flop. I'd much rather activate King Tower, get my defensive capabilities like straightened out at the start of the game, and then realize, okay, I know his entire deck composition, I know what cards he has in cycle, and then we can make some like calculated offensive presence on the map in double elixir. So I'm gonna end up going for an ice wizard again. I'm going to wait for him. I could go in for NATO to kill that, but I think that I'd rather just wait. I think the Valkyrie is going to do well. I think I can go in for bats here. As soon as that Fire Spirit ends up dying, we get some absurd utility with the bats. They're going to sacrifice themselves for the greater good on top of the Fire Spirits as well. And then I'm going to also go in for a lower Tombstone. So he's going to have an interesting Giant deck. Unfortunately, the thing that is going to bother me is uh, the Dark Goblin for sure. I'm going to go in for a NATO. i got to kill the bats pronto. The Dark Goblin is going to provide a lot of utility for him. It's going to do a lot of work against our Inferno Dragon, but the Inferno Dragon will also soak up some Fire Spirit shots, and then I can go for a Valkyrie right on top. I did not go for a pre-log as I was expecting, but interesting plays, bro. I'm going to have a Valkyrie converting defense into offense is the move. I'm going to go in for a Freeze on top of the tower, his own Valkyrie, and see if we can get some more utility out of our own Valk. So we're going to slaughter just about everything there. That was great Freeze by us. Baited out just about everything. So I'm going to go in for an Inferno Dragon. I can end up going in for another Ice Wizard, and I can go in for a NATO to pull everything together, drop bats right on side, and I don't think he's breaking through this, guys. I think the Ice Wizard is just going to slow everything down. He's going to be an incredibly sad panda. Also, since he has Fireball, despite him having multi fairies bait elements plus a Valkyrie, I think that we should be able to just make a huge offensive presence because look at the Inferno Dragon staying alive, guys. I'm going to go for a Freeze as well. If the Inferno Dragon stays alive, the Skeletons are ravaging the tower. And as I said, Double X are calculated offense. It always pays off. Pays off in dividends. GG. Well played. And it was a pleasure playing against you, Ryan. You are true, sir. Peace out, Girl Scout. All right. This guy's going to go hot and heavy right in with the Valkyrie plus Bats combination at the start of the game. No chill whatsoever, bro. 
So I'm going to end up having to go in for my own Valkyrie. Unfortunately, the Ice Wizard, I thought that the Ice Wizard would end up killing that bat. But Barry the Bat, you know, he had a mind of his own. He's like, nah, fam. We're not going to die. Not today. I have so much to live for. So he's going to end up just eating one Valkyrie hit. He's got Inferno Dragon. He's got Bats. He's going to have Valkyrie. So this is either going to be Balloon or it's going to be Graveyard. It's one or the other. There's no ends, ifs, or buts about it. So our Inferno Dragon wins. So he's running Graveyard after seeing the Bowler. So I'm going to go for Bats because he's not going to have Zap with this. Usually they do not run Zap. Go for a Graveyard. I'm going to get ready with a Freeze depending on what he drops. Is he going to drop Electro? He doesn't drop Electro, but that's still worth the Freeze because I know that... It dies. Do I go in for NATO and then kill his tower? Yes, we take tower. Let's go, guys. The Inferno Dragon. That NATO was so awesome. Whew. Pro plays for days. The Inferno Dragon is going to kill the bowler, too. Oh, my gosh. That was the most value I've ever gotten out of an Inferno Dragon. I can't believe that. He got sizzled. He got fried alive. That's insane. Guys, did you see that? Oh, that was dirty. That was so dirty. That, that made me feel good inside, man. That made me feel all, all like, warm inside. Whew. All right, I'm going to go for Inferno Dragon. I'm going to go for an Ice Wizard. And I know that he's probably just going to keep doing the same junk. I can just go in for a Freeze. He's going to go for a Lightning. I thought he was running Graveyard. Does he have Graveyard Lightning? Or is he running, like, Giant Bowler? I don't know, guys. If he's running Graveyard Lightning, he's the very first that ever ran this deck. Like, he is an extraordinarily gifted sir. Someone that is, I don't know. I can't even, like, fathom someone running a graveyard deck with lightning. Unless you know every single counter to someone's graveyard is going to be, like, a musketeer plus, like, ice wizard jumped up, jumbled together. It just doesn't make sense. He's got giant, so it kind of makes sense now. He's running, like, old school giant lightning. It's kind of whack, though. I'm going to go in for bats, and I know that I can just go in for a graveyard and then another Valkyrie and just put an end to this man's misery. I'm going to go in for a Valkyrie. I can go in for a freeze right on top of both towers. And also hit everything. Oh, I don't hit the Mega Minion, but it's good enough, guys. It's good enough. We are taking a clean 2-0 victory. Ah, oh, not a clean 2-0. It would have been a nice clean 2-0, though. So I'm going to go for Inferno Dragon. I'm not going to drop anything. I'm just going to go in for a NATO. And then he lightnings, because he's uh, he kind of has to, right? And then I drop Ice Wizard, and then I laugh at him, right? I think that's probably the play. GG, well played, and peace out, Girl Scout. Pleasure playing against you. That first push was amazing. Holy crap. I've never seen anything like this in my life. Like, ever. There's no way anyone else has seen anything like this before. Have you guys seen this, like, from an Inferno Dragon? How much value? It took Tower to kill the Bowler, kill Mega Minion? This Inferno Dragon? There are legends told about this Inferno Dragon, guys. He slaughtered everything. He's like, I'm a psychopath. I don't even care. So we're going for the Freeze. He kills a Mega Minion. He kills the Tower. He kills all the Bats. He kills the Bowler. And then he kills another Valkyrie. <laughs> That's insane. I don't understand how that happened, but that made me feel so dang good.